That checkbook coming down. I'm out with it. Ended up meeting up with uh, one of our other owner operators here. Good old check monkey uh, loaded there at Indian Head in Eau Claire. And he's on his way to Toma. I'm on my way to Illinois. So it kind of worked out perfect, surprisingly. I didn't think I'd see him, but hey. Now we get to run a little together, pretty fun. It takes it a few to get to the point where it actually shuts off. So maybe we'll we're almost, we're only about an hour and twenty minutes away from where we got to be in Fort Wayne, Indiana here. And thankfully it's fall, so it's a little cooler outside. But everything else has been fine, except I think it has to do with the rain. Somehow something's getting wet. Or got wet and now it's messed up but fortunately we're still holding that negative 17. all right guys well we are sitting here again in fort wayne indiana at the old super value so last night as you guys could see i had issues with my reefer and i decided that i was going to check in here early because i was going to tell him to get it off because i'm having issues and i don't want the product to melt on my trailer well, anyways, get here and get backed into a door. I did get a door right away. And uh, they took another uh, five hours just to start unloading me. Actually, it's like three or four. Three or four hours just to start unloading me. And uh, we're still sitting here. The light turned green. And then I pulled out because I don't have any. That's what they told me to do. And there was no paperwork in the back, so I called back in and said I don't have paperwork. And they took my load lock, which is typical, but I just realized it this time. So I actually got my load lock back. Uh, but yeah, so it's just been one of those days, along with all this rain out here. So, all right, boys, well, we got screwed over at Super Valley yesterday. And then I had to go get my reefer fixed. In between the two things, I could not get a load out of here. We are gonna work on finding a load now today. There's this place right up the road called like, uh, shh, man, I can't remember. It's like a pancake house anyways. All right guys, well, we ended up going over to Sophia's pancake house. That's what it was called. I couldn't remember there earlier. Um, that place is so good. If you guys ever are in Merrill, Merrillville, did I say? Yeah, Merrillville, uh, Indiana, right there off uh, 30. Stop in there. They give you so much food. Like, I don't think I've ever been to a place where they give you so much food. And it's definitely reasonably priced. But, anyways, we're on our way over to Milwaukee right now. We're going to go pick up a load of beer. And that's headed over to Green Isle, Minnesota. So, we just had taken off there, and then uh, heard over the CB, the guy was saying that we should stay on 30 over to 394 here, and then head up, because apparently on the state border, they got some emergency road work they're doing. He said they were doing it earlier uh, in the week, but now they're doing the other side of the road. 
and it was an extra two hour wait he said the last time he got stuck in it so we're taking 30 over to this 394 and then we're gonna head up and basically get right back on to 94 and then work our way back over to Milwaukee I'm thinking about stopping into uh, the Eagle I don't know if it's still called the Eagle or not but truck wash there because I haven't washed my truck in like I don't know probably two or three weeks now so we're gonna keep the hammer down and uh, we'll check, uh, check in with you guys here shortly hey guys we're here in Pewaukee we got a big old load of beer on here from Miller Coors down in Milwaukee here we're fueling up for 328 on mud flap here. I think yeah, that'd be a couple cents cheaper there. I got my bank account hooked up to it there. So it was about two cents cheaper if I would have went up to Johnson Creek here. But I needed fuel and I don't feel like putting enough in and then going 15 miles up the road and then finishing it off. I'm just going to take the two cent hit and uh, fill her all the way up here. So, what the heck? We got a good looking rig here. Come on. Freshly painted. Just the way I like it. Good morning, you guys. We are almost to Green Isle, Minnesota, where we're going to deliver this load of beer that we picked up the other day. Uh, in Milwaukee there. We got a load of Miller Coors on, Coors, however the heck you say that. Um, so they're open from 7 a.m. to like 2 p.m. at this place. So I'm going to get there about 7, about 20 to 8. And uh, yeah, it's been going pretty good, but I don't think I've shown you guys what my CV looks like. And it's still a little bit dark out getting brighter though. Figured now would be a good time to show ya. So that's my striker. Somebody asked uh, what uh, model it was. It is a 655. I don't know a whole lot about the radios honestly but uh, I used to have a Cobra in here as you guys could see and this one works quite a bit better so far. I got to get a better antenna on here, but I've been able to hear people nice and clear, uh, and I've also been able to reach out and actually talk to people with this one. So pretty excited about that. Plus, really what I wanted was the purple, and I wanted it to say Milkman because I just think that's cool. So we're going to get this uh, load off here, listen to the old kitty purr for another 20 minutes. 30 minutes and uh, we'll check back in with you once we get a little farther along. Come out. Well, it is one beautiful morning out here this morning. It is cooling down quite a bit. I think uh, it was about 40 something degrees this morning when I started the truck up. It is definitely cold start season. Oh, it's one of these. So I'm going to have to sit here and do this because I don't have a snippers but anyways do that in a minute uh let's see nothing else there he's pulling out already so we're gonna go get backed in come on all right so we got all kinds of stuff we got Miller Lite we got hams never heard of that we got Lion Googles Coors High Life we're ready for a party well, we're grabbing a new trailer. We just dropped that other one off there at Blaine Brothers. That reefer wasn't working, so we're going to get that fixed. And then uh, need some other work, but uh, we got a nicer trailer now. Come on. Pretty sweet looking freight liner over there. Pulling out right now. Decent. So we just got the truck washed up here at the Minnesota Truck Wash in Lakeville looks real good i just got off the phone with peterbilt because my hood basically what happened is it's old as shit 
and these these wore out. I just replaced these, but what's wrong is it's too wore out inside. So the hood sits there and moves around, and my hood sits like I think it's like this, whatever way it is, it's tilted one way or the other. So I ordered new J brackets and then whatever this piece is here that goes onto the frame of the truck that the J bracket mounts onto. And I got all new uh, hardware here for each side. And then as you can see, this seal right here is bad. So I got a new seal. I got some new uh, bumpers, whatever you'd want to call those for each side so I can get that uh, fixed up finally. And then, it's a nice stainless steel trailer, eh? And then uh, up in here, just work on cleaning this up a little bit. I ordered a new uh, switch. I tried putting a knob on there, but there's something wrong with the actual thing that you put the knob on here. So I just ordered, you can actually get this individually, that piece inside there. So I'm gonna take that one out and put a new one in and then put a new knob on there. So that'll finally be looking at least more done than what it looks now. So slow progress, but trying to fix the things that need to be fixed. You know what I'm saying? Guys, really quick, you can see, see how it's angled like that. That has been annoying me for the longest time. So finally gonna get that fixed up. Get a new grill in here, so don't have that ugly black grill. I think I wanna do one where it's like, there's no bars on it. It's more of just like a see-through type of grill. Cause otherwise you got the bars on the hood going that way and the herd bumper is going that way. It looks kinda, I don't know. I just want all that to flow the same way. And I'm gonna get some round headlights, like 359 style headlights on here. I'm about 99% sure that's what I'm gonna do with those. But uh, better close this latch before I forget. Hey guys, I really need to step up my game. You can't see it in uh, the picture in the video here, but no, actually you can't. Look how shiny this thing is. There's been lots of shiny rides out here today. I'm real, real behind here. At least I got it washed up. And typical, little behind, she said. We'll call you when we're ready. So, i be about midnight, 1 a.m. probably by the time I get out of this joint. Oh, we made it here to Milwaukee. I was right. We didn't even get out of Genio in Wilmer until about quarter or 20 to 2 this morning. So, I was thinking 1 o'clock, but, you know, why not make it later yet? But you can see how we had to do this deal here. They wanted me one door over more, which the other guy said it didn't matter. So he told me I could go into door five here. This is literally the tightest spot that I've ever had to deliver to. I've picked up here before too, except I was over there and there's actually more trucks lined up. I just don't have a whole lot of room. So I'm kind of, I don't know what you want to call it, jackknifed or whatever. And uh, you can see I'm not even really straight in the door back here but he said it'll be fine so we're gonna go with that 